Hello, welcome to Daily Records. I'm Tommy Burton, and uh, today's album is a great soul record uh, that I've got a reissue of. This is the great Syl Johnson, uh, Dress is Too Short, from 1968. Now, a little history on, on Syl Johnson. He was born Sylvester Thompson, uh, but he's known as, as Syl Johnson. He's a blues and soul singer, and, and highly overlooked, I think. Uh, I think this guy slipped through the cracks, and he lives in the shadow of, of people like Al Green, which is funny because the ties that he has to Al Green. Now, he's from my home state of Mississippi, but he moved to Chicago in the early 50s, and uh, he was next-door neighbors to uh, Magic Sam. So that's a, a little bit of uh, history. But he sang and played with those guys, uh, Magic Sam, uh, Billy Boy Arnold, Junior Wells, Howlin' Wolf. So he's got some street cred when it comes to his background. Uh, he did record for Jimmy Reed uh, on the VJ label back in the late 50s. And uh, he was put out some records on the Federal label, which is a subsidiary of King uh, out of, out of uh, Cincinnati. A lot of you know uh, the King Records label, Freddie King on guitar. But uh, Twinite Records is the label that he recorded for. You can see the, the Twinite logo, logo up there. And um, he started recording for them in the mid-60s, and his first big hit was uh, Come On, Sock It To Me. Uh, and that came out in 1967. It's on this album, Dress Is Too Short. And he became sort of the main guy on the Twinite label. Uh, he was the, the, the big hit maker. Uh, and so he also had a song, um, Different Strokes, and uh, it's uh, become a big breakbeat uh, sampled song uh, that a lot of a lot of guys use. So you've probably heard some of his music. Well, in 1971, uh, Willie Mitchell in Memphis brought him to High Records to record in Memphis. He recorded uh, a couple of records there and some singles, and uh, he recorded with the High House Band. So that's the association that he has with uh, with Al Green because um, when Al Green started to kind of take off, uh, Willie Mitchell kind of got left in the dust and. Uh, you know, forgotten about, but uh, really, really good stuff, uh, good soul music, and I'm going to read uh, this reissue, the note back here, just to give you an idea. For decades, I regarded Syl Johnson as the absolute uppermost among the soul voices whose names couldn't, wouldn't be recognized except by the cognoscenti, the lost voices that cut the deepest, burned the hardest, and kept the best pace with the Hall of Famers. Green, uh, Marvin Gaye, Donny Hathaway. Now, not only has he been given belated sonic justice, but I'm amazed to learn that the aggrieved outsider passion of his voice is matched by the absurd ferocity of the life lived by the man himself, inside and outside the verifiable histories of our own time. That's written by Jonathan uh, Lethem. And so, um, Syl Johnson, if you love good, hard-hitting soul music, uh, you can't go wrong with, with Syl Johnson. Like I said, this is a reissue, but you can see the, the Twinite label on there. And uh, really, really good sounding stuff. Uh, check out the song Dress Is Too Short, which was a big hit for him. But uh, also, come on, sock it to me. Different Strokes is on here. Also, uh, Ode to a Soul Man. Uh, Ode to Soul Man. That's, uh, that's a great title. But anyway, Syl Johnson, a lot of fun. Uh, you'll, you'll definitely get a kick out of this record. And, and uh, you'll move your feet uh, for sure. There's, there's no two ways about it. Uh, you'll find a way to, to enjoy this. But uh, like, subscribe, comment below. Let me know what you think about Syl Johnson, uh, if you know his music. And uh, I really appreciate everybody that takes time to interact. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter. It's TommyBurton75. I usually show what I'm spinning on there. And I will see you guys tomorrow with another daily record.